children have disappeared recently. Or cities where there's a comeback 3,000 every time in the middle of a freak storm. Help me get my boy back, Miss Smith. Why would it rain like that? Insufficient data. Maybe we can get you some more. Wow! Particles identified as entanglement shells. Entanglement shells can also be a byproduct of some form of transdimensional energy dispersal. Teleportation. Oh, what are we looking for? Perhaps I can help. Mr. Grantham, I presume. Not Mr. Goodluck. No, I hear he likes to stay in the shadows. I wonder where that is. Just bring me children. Someone shows promise. Yeah, there's a couple of kids. One of them's really something. What exactly does a matter transporter look like? It's like we've died. No! Something's not right. to your own species, Grantham. You have always sickened me. Killing you will be a service to both our worlds. Good luck. What is happening? The mission is compromised, mistress. We must evacuate. No, you will stay there. You must send me children. More children. But the security has been breached. Do not argue, good luck. I am your mistress. Yes, mistress. Oh, it sounds like you're needing me around a little bit more, Mr. Kudlak. Hmm. I think... I don't know how to sort your security problem. Mrs. Smith, I need you. Luke and Clyde have been abducted by an alien. I need you to identify the species. Please describe. Um, humanoid, brownish face. Kind of slimy. White cheekbones. No, wider. And big eyes. Yes, I think that's it. You got me. Their home planet is in the spiral cluster of the Dragon Nebula, 34,000 light years from Earth. His name is Kudlak. Accessing Yuvodny database. Kudlak. General Uvlavad Kudlak. One of the Yuvodny Cygnus Brigade's most decorated warriors. A soldier. The Yuvodny were part of a planetary alliance that fought the Malak in the Ghost Wars of the Horsehead Nebula. Who are the Malak? Not very nice to know. They'd start a war with you just for looking at them. When the other allied worlds had been crushed by the Malak Empire, the Uvodny continued to fight. Well, why is Kudlak on Earth abducting children? My last data registration of General Kudlak is from a Cybercon download with a Xantoxian trade vessel that passed through the solar system two months ago. A what? Mr. Smith sometimes likes to connect with onboard computers of passing alien vessels. It pays to stay in touch. So, what about Kudlak? Twenty years ago, the Uvodny suffered massive casualties in a battle with the Malak. Kudlak was badly injured and forced to leave the front line. Which still doesn't tell us why he's taking Luke and Clyde. Well, maybe it does. Remember what Grantham said in his office. Children love war games. An old soldier like Kudlak, he wouldn't just retire. I think he's been here recruiting. What? I think he's looking for soldiers. Oh, no, see. You? I think my battery's dead. Oh, man, the bucket! 
This is not good. I think you're right. Did you feel it back then? The floor was vibrating. How do you mean? Very slightly. Which means? It wasn't doing that before. I don't think we're in combat 3000 anymore. <laughs> what's going on around here. I'd love to hear it. I don't think we got into the World Championships. Who's this? Did you hear that? Who is that? Whoa! Looks like things are finally picking up around here. What's your name? Jen. Who are you? I'm Clyde. This is Luke. Look, have you got a good reason for sitting in a crate? Or are you like us, itching for a clue to what the hell's going on around here? I'm on level two at Combat 3000. Next thing, those jokers are locking me up. Clyde, I think I found you that clue. Lance! Look, I don't want to freak you out, mate, but your mum's going out of her mind worrying about you. Mr Smith, do you have a choice on the storm today when Luke and Clyde were taken? Yes, I have been monitoring weather conditions across the country. Is it possible to track the transmat beam to calculate where it's taken the boys? Detection of such a transmission trail would require synchronous data scraping in all 11 dimensions around Combat 3000. Can you do it? Of course. One minute. Wait here. I know, I probably should have called you first, but... Not at all, Mr. Bantham. I'm always delighted to study new forms of human low life in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> you are a cool old bird, I'll give you that much. Collaborating with an alien child abductor. That really is a new depth in the low life stakes. I didn't come here to discuss my business dealings with Smith. Listen to Stevens. You're helping that monster press my children into a war, like the other way, just for money. Uh, it's what makes the galaxy go round. Oh, you're despicable. And you. <laughs> you are done for. No, Mr. Grantham. I think you're the one that's done with it. <laughs> so we all played Combat 3000 and ended up here. And we played all over the place. London, Brighton, Manchester, Leeds and Inverness. Kids from all over the country must have been going this. But how did we get here? Wherever here is... What's it for? Who are they and what do they want with us? I played that stupid game again and again just to get to level two, and I end up in a crate. What's going on? Someone's coming. So beautiful. Oh, we are a long way from home. They're in space. In Earth's orbit. Twenty-two thousand miles over our heads. It could be worse. How? The transporter could have sent them right across the galaxy to the Rodney world. But they're in space. It doesn't matter whether it's Earth's orbit or the planet of the apes. Unless you've got a friend at NASA that'll enter the shuttle, we're stuffed, and so are Luke and Clyde. Maria, we're going to get them back. How? Mr. Grantham is going to help us. It's a trick. 
It's got to be a trick. We didn't fly anywhere. We were teleported. Yeah, right. Like, beat me up, Scotty. Trust me, it's real. It's a real gun. Come on. We're really in space. How are we going to get away? He's got a point. We'll find a way. My warriors. Such very fine warriors. <laughs> Not for all this warrior stuff. All we did was win a game of laser tag. Hey, maybe that's it. Maybe this is just another part of the game. Level three. Silence! Behold your mistress. Welcome, my warriors. We're not warriors. We're kids. None of those before you had the initiative to escape the holding deck. None forced my return to the ship to deal with them. You are good, warrior stock. This is such rubbish. You have proved yourself in the arena. You have hearts of heroes. You will not suffer our enemies to live, and we will honor your sacrifice. Hey, your majesty or whatever. No offense, but I think you're getting a bit mixed up here. Back in the arena, we were playing. And what is play if it is not a preparation for life? Look, fight your own. It's got nothing to do with us. We want to go home. Look! <sighs> such determination. Such loyalty to each other. You have chosen well, Kodlak. Suppose we refuse to fight. What then? Then you will be cowards. You will not fall as heroes, but nevertheless, you will die. That teleporter is here, Mr. Bantam, and you're going to take us to it. And then what? <gasps> Are you going to beam yourself up to your Vodney ship and take them along with your lipstick? You won't be so cocky when you go down for abducting all those children. <laughs> so, so, you're going to tell the police that I helped some butt ugly alien send kids to war in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> it won't be me going down, love. It will be you, down to the funny farm. Who needs to mention aliens? There's enough evidence to link you to the disappearances. I doubt that men like you fare too well in prison. All right, all right, all right. I'll help you out as much as I can, for all it's worth. The first thing is... It's not cool like that calls all the shots. You have done well, good luck. The recruits have spirit. They will see it is better to fight than to die a coward's death. How many that we have sent into battle these last years have survived, do you suppose? We have survived, good luck. The Uvodny have survived. Yes, mistress. Uh... You seem weary, General. It has been a long war, mistress. I grow old dreaming of peace. Peace? Dreams of peace of a father's good luck. Of course, mistress. I beg forgiveness. I am tired. We have done glorious work for our people, good luck. Humans are among the most aggressive species in the galaxy. The young have untamed potential. Their imagination and adaptability have a decade helped our armies do glorious battle against the Malak. Yes, mistress. But I wonder how these battles fare. It has been so long since I have heard from the front. Our battles are glorious, good luck. And one day we will crush the Malak. And then there will be peace. A man like you should not dream of peace, General Good Luck. Uh... Without war, the cosmos has no need of us. Prepare the recruits for transportation to the front. Yes, mistress. My dad was a soldier. He thought there were times when you had to fight. Yeah. But this isn't our fight. Can I borrow your mobile, Clyde? We're in space, Luke. Who are you going to ring? Have you got a number for Captain Kirk? <laughs> Who? Oh, just don't break it. Whatever's going on across the galaxy has got nothing to do with us. Kuglak doesn't see it like that. Forget Kuglak. We need a plan to get out of here. But what can we do? We're on a spaceship. The only way we're getting off is if they send us into the middle of some alien war. Or we steal a shuttlecraft. What did you say? I've wired Clyde's mobile into the ship's computer. He did what? Sorry, my friend's a bit of a geek. This is a plan of the spacecraft. Just like the Isle of Wight ferry. Yeah, that ferry, yeah. We're here. This is where they took us to see the mistress. And this, I'm pretty sure, is a shuttlecraft. Genius. Yeah, genius. You can wire your phone into an alien computer, but can you fly an alien shuttlecraft? No, but you can wire my phone up to an alien computer. Give the boy a chance, he's on a roll. It doesn't make any difference if he can fly it or not. We're not going anywhere. Want to wager? Bet, Luke. It's a bet. If you don't have 
hold your side of the bargain. And see to it that we reach the Awadwi ship in one piece. My friend Mr. Smith has detailed files on you. They'll be in the hands of the police by midnight. Don't worry, Miss Smith. I'll get you up to the Awadwi ship. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> You're never going to come back. Oh, I'll be back, Mr. Bantham. I'll be back. <laughs> I would lay eyes on a sight like this again. It's incredible. Even after everything I've seen, I never thought I'd see this. Maybe if everybody could see the earth from up here, they might appreciate it more. Come on, Maria, we have to go. Okay, I've gone past worried. I'm not even stopping at anxious. I'm full throttle into panic, totally beyond reason. Will you get a move on? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Climb, look at this. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? My name is Sarah Jane Smith, and I want my son back. Clyde, look what I've just seen in the computer banks. Not now, Luke, later. for children, no matter how desperate your people may be. My people are not desperate. They are proud. They are victorious. Victorious? Is that what you call a people that use somebody else's children to fight their war? Your species has a hunger for battle. We don't. The children don't. We've seen what adults have done to the world with their war, and we don't want it anymore. Lies. I've seen your games. It's pretend. Uh, can't you understand that? The children you sent to fight the Malak might score high in a game. That's not the same as fighting in a battlefield. They adapt or fall. And just how victorious are your battles, mistress? What is the word from the front? Mistress, your warriors are ready. Intruders! Execute that good luck. No! And I had such hopes for you, young warrior. No! No! He's not a warrior. None of them are warriors. They're children! War changes everything. Stop. The war is over. What is this? Lies. Good luck. Execute them. I found this in your computer banks. This is trickery. No! Let him show you. I hacked into your ship's computer. That's how we escaped. I found this by accident. I will not permit this good luck. Vessels of the Imperial fleet, this is your Emperor. We have agreed an armistice with the Malak. After all these centuries, peace at last. Come home, all my proud warriors. Come home, we have much to rebuild. What Malak subterfuge is this? Luke found it in your data banks. You have to believe it, good luck. The war is over. According to the data, that message is ten years old. Ten years? The mistress would have told me. We would have gone home. This is a trick. You wish to destroy us. No, Kudla. We don't want to destroy you, no matter what your mistress has told you. Earth wants to live in peace with its neighbors. But, mistress, is this true? Is the war ended all these years? 
Perhaps she doesn't want to go home. Perhaps without a war, there's no need for her or for you. Mistress? <laughs> Haste does not compute. What? Haste does not compute. Haste does not, not, not compute. Mistress? She's a computer. She buried the message from your emperor. Is this true, mistress? I am not programmed for peace. This scenario does not compute. It cannot be real. You never expected the war to end. Your computers were never programmed to recognize it when it happened. Peace is an anomaly. Without war, I cannot exist. The point of our war was to achieve peace for our home. We have no home, good luck. Except on the battlefield. Peace is a stranger's land. We have no place there. You may not, but I do. Yeah. All these years of peace wasted. I thought the Malak were my enemy, but all this time, it was you. And I will not suffer my enemies to live. The mistress is dead, and I have committed an unforgivable crime against your world. You are free, and my life is yours to take. Taking life is never the answer, General Kudlak. Whether we've been wronged by one man or a whole planet, it's always the innocents that suffer. I am not an innocent. But maybe I can find some of those that were. The ones I sent far away and that still survive. Perhaps I can return them and one day find some peace for myself. I hope you can, General Kudlak. It is my duty. We're leaving now. I'm not much of a hero's welcome. Who cares? We're back. <laughs> Looks like Grantham's done a runner. Well, I never really expected him to hang around, did you? He can't get away with what he's done. He's worse than Cooper. Oh, I don't worry. I don't think Mr. Grantham's the sort to stay out of trouble. You'll get what's coming to him, eventually. never talk to their mums. Are you joking? How many people really get to go up into space? Like, uh, no one. She won't be able to show him. She won't believe a word of it, but she won't want him to stop. I wonder if he'll be a soldier like his dad, after everything he's been through. Well, after today, he might want to be an astronaut, be the first man on Mars. First human man on Mars, that is. Are you all right, Luke? Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. You were a hero out there, mate. All that stuff with my mobile, it was brilliant. You all needed me. Felt like I belonged. So what's with the sponsored site? I've been thinking about something else. You know you said anything I wanted to know. Just ask, right? Encyclopedia Clydanica. I'm your man. Tell me about girls. Oh, man. <laughs> is for you. He said, give it to the person you trust the most. Who's Andrea? Dad, something really weird is going on. There's this woman over in Sarah Jane's house. Who's Sarah Jane? Maria, please help me. Dad! 